Shalom. Shalom. This is episode six in the series of the gospel according to St. Matthew, straight through. I'm the messenger, Big Judah. And sitting next to me is my reader, Brother Yerushalayim. And we bid you Shalom. Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we're going to go right into the message at this time and start at uh, Matthew uh, chapter 6, verse 1. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men uh -huh. to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Now, uh, starting right off, is giving us the attitude to have. What he's teaching us, what Mashiach is teaching us, whom you, we have been taught to call Jesus Christ, what he's teaching us is how to have uh, humility and, and, and to, how to do things, in other words. Right. Uh -huh. Read that for me again. Listen to this now. Listen to this and, 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 and imagine yourself talking to your brother or your children or giving instructions. Just listen to this. Uh -huh. Matthew 6 and verse 1. Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, you have no reward of your father, which is in heaven. And the church I come from, you had to have your name called. I've seen arguments happen over uh, grown preachers, superintendents, bishops not having their name called. And they get in councils. They're about to fight. Right. And as a young minister or elder, this troubled me greatly. Because this, that kind of attitude speaks directly against what Mashiach said. Mm -hmm. Give me two. Verse two. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee. Don't have them to call out your name. As the hypocrites do in the synagogues uh -oh. and in the streets. Did not I just say that they had to have their name called? That's the alarm being sounded. Mm -hmm. To make you look great in statue or or I do this or I do that right when in actual reality you do nothing because the most high gives us power so do you have no power so don't try to sound like you got power and you really don't right and it says they do it and and, and then the bible call if you do this you're called a hypocrite hypocrite yeah. so by this bible according to this bible anybody who has who has given 25 30 200 3000 a million dollars and they have their name sounded a call they are hypocrites hypocrites that's right no, uh-huh in the synagogues and in the streets uh -huh. that they may have glory of men that's why you're a hypocrite uh-huh verily i say unto you they have their reward give me romans 12 and 8 watch mm -hmm. this they have their reward they're hypocrites and anyone who is a hypocrite cannot and will not receive the kingdom. Right. Uh huh. Romans chapter 12 and verse 8. Uh huh. Or he that exhorteth an exhortation, he that giveth, let him do with simplicity. With simplicity. Not ringing bells, not sounding horns, right. or, or, or getting your name called. Uh huh. He that ruleth with diligence. He that showeth mercy with cheerfulness, uh -huh. verse 9, let love be without dissimulation, uh -huh. abhor that which is evil, cleave unto that which is good. Okay, now let's, 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 let's go, 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 give me Romans, uh, start at 4, start at the 4, the four, no, Romans 8 and 4, give me that, let's see what that says. Romans 8. Romans 8. Four. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Romans 12. Romans 12 and verse chapter, chapter yeah. Yeah. Romans yeah. chapter twelve, verse four, and verse four. Uh huh. Let's for, see what let's see what attitude we should have. For as we have many members in one body, the church, uh -huh. all and all members have not the same office. They have not the same office. Verse five. So we, being many, are one body in Christ. In Mashiach. Uh huh. And every one member, one to another. Uh huh. Verse six. Having then gifts. Differing according to the grace that is given to us. So now, just because I'm a member of the church or I'm a member does not make me any less or any more than a bishop. Mm -hmm. When I when the bishop comes, if I'm sitting somewhere close to the bishop, 
I have to move because surely he is greater than I. Because when he sounds his alarm for his arms, I cannot be in his glory. Other bishops and other preachers, other elders have to be in his glory. Right. That's not the way the Most High wants things to be done. The Mo Mashiach said in, in one verse that this woman gave what two mites. And she had given more than everybody who had given. Mm -hmm. Because she gave this way. Read, it, read on, brother. Let us prophesy according to the portion of faith. Verse 7, mm -hmm. or ministry, let us wait on our ministering. Let us wait. Let us prophesy according to the faith that we were given. We know where that faith comes from. It comes by the reading and the hearing and the doing of the word of the Most High. If you go back, if you look at the, the, the video of chapter 5, Brother Rossum breaks that down very well for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's go back to uh, Matthew uh, 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 3. And verse 3. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. Uh huh. Verse 4. That thine alms may be in secret. May be in what? In secret. Read that again. Maybe my Bible's reading wrong. That thine alms may be in secret. In secret. Not sounded out. Not so everybody can know. Right. Uh huh. And thy father, which seeth thee in secret, uh -huh. himself shall reward thee openly. So now, there is the humility. If my son is willing to have this and that and secretly give, so that no glo no glory is given unto him, but all the glory be given unto me. You're following the, the, the commandments. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in heaven. Heaven. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Verse 5. And when thou prayest. Now we're getting into praying. Here are the attributes. Humble yourself. Don't be exalted. Lose a prideful spirit. Accord, uh, uh, according to uh, 1 through 5. Uh, uh, 1 through 4. Right. And when thou prayest. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not be as the hypocrites. Now are. let's see what hypocrites do. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue. Where's your bishop? Standing in the synagogue. Uh huh. Where's and your preacher? Standing in the synagogue. Uh huh. Where's the priest? Standing in the synagogue. Uh huh. And in the corners of the streets. Uh oh. So wait a minute. Mm -mm. Uh well. <laughs> and in the corners of the streets, praying and prophesying and making a show. Uh huh. That's all it is. It's a show. It's a show. That's all it is. It's a, it's a show. show up. Uh huh. That they may be seen of men. That they may be seen of men. Now, if you're standing on the street with the true heart and the true spirit, you're not trying to be seen of men. It's the ones that don't that want to be seen of men. That want this and that. They have an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. You cannot have an ulterior motive when it comes to this word. You cannot. Have an ulterior motive when it comes to this word. You have to read this word by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shah, right. or who y'all call Jesus, well, who we were taught to call Jesus Christ. Right. And if you know any better, you're going to look up how low, uh, uh, old the letter J is, and you and E and the U, and you'll be surprised. But that's another lesson. Uh huh. Didn't you say um, what it says about praying and prophesying on the streets that they may seen of, be seen of men? Didn't you say that there was somebody? Praying on the street like you was driving by. He wasn't saying. This dude here. <laughs> oh, man. It tripped me out. This dude here. And here in Ocala, he sits over by the bridge. And he was just sitting there. And he was he has his little bull horn. You know. You can't really understand what he's saying. But he's doing what he calls the, the work of the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was just sitting there until I stopped. And when I stopped, he got really loud. And... <laughs> He went to shaking. Oh, 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 I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna shot. No, 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 no. He went to speaking in tongues, and uh, <laughs> You're waiting to be seen. I was like, man. wow. He yeah. was waiting to be seen, huh? Because when you saw him at first, he wasn't doing. He was. He was just sitting there with his leg crossed, and then when I started paying attention, so he <laughs> went to jerking, having a seizure, whatever. <laughs> yeah. In other words, he caught the Holy Ghost. Yeah, what John yeah. call? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 6, uh -huh. but when thou prayest, uh -huh. 
enter into thy closet. Now he's tell he tell you going over your your, your your jacket and the, uh, your shoes are. He you know some people tell you you need to go in your closet, and close the door. Yeah. Uh huh. Go watch this. Watch this. And when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Uh -huh. And when thou hast shut thy door, uh -huh. pray to the Father which is in secret. Now, which is in secret. It's telling you how the method to pray to the Father, which is in secret. Because if you pray just so men can, you can get glory of men, you might as well not. Matter of fact, what you're probably doing is attracting evil spirits to yourself. Right, right. Because you have a wrong heart. So now you can't figure out, I've been to church, I gave tithes and this and that, you know, and they called my name. Well, I'll go down a list of, of things that you just said wrong, and you'll figure out why you're not getting what you call blessed. Because Brother Yorosinum just read in his uh, lesson, blessed, he, he just read it. Blessed are they which do hunger, blessed are they that mourn, blessed are the meek, blessed are the peacemakers. Just go look at his video. Yeah. It'll tell you what blessing is. First Psalm says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Mm -hmm. Well, that's blessing. Not one time have I saw. Blessed is the man that has a brand new Cadillac right. in a 1500 suit. Right. I've never seen it. Never. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, oh, when I pray, go in the closet. The closet. It's not talking about your clothes closet. It's talking about don't be in humility. Be have don't have a prideful spirit. Oh, I heard it said, oh, that man sure can't get a prayer through to the law. <laughs> man, if y'all don't sit down somewhere, yeah. anybody, a righteous person can get a prayer through. You keep the laws and statutes and commandments, the ones that you can, not the ones that the, what the Christians in air say is done away with, mm -hmm. but really it's done in the heavens. Mm -hmm. By the true minister of the true tabernacle of, uh, that's not made with hands. That blood was shed once and for all. He entered into the holiest of holies once and for all. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shahamashiach, who we have been taught to call Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, that's the same person. No, it's not. That's another lesson. Right. All right. Let's go. And... Which, six. Three, six again. Six. But thou, when thou prayest. But thou, you. Uh huh. Right. Enter into thy closet. Uh huh. And when thou hast shut thy door, uh -huh. pray to the Father. Pray to Jesus. Pray to the Father. Pray to Buddha. Pray to the Father. Pray to Christian. Pray to the Father. Now, you can pray to. If that's your Father, then you pray to him. Good luck on that. I feel like preaching in here. But as Brother Yorosim said, we're dealing with. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. Verse 5, chapter 1. Read that for me. Verse 5, chapter 1. Look at Brother Rossum's video. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And when his he was set, his disciples came unto him. His disciples came. His disciples, not everybody. Right. Not the multitudes, his disciples. So he's talking to Yasha Allah. Mm -hmm. He's not talking to everybody. Right, the Israelites. You see right there, he made a difference in the multitudes. If he came to save the Lord, came to save everybody, why is he talking to the whole multitudes then? Right, right. Right. Uh, uh huh. But when you, Israel, right, Yasha Allah, the, who keep the laws and commandments, because if you're Yasha Allah, and you're not keeping the, the, if you're Israel, and you're not keeping the laws and the commandments, you might as well just go fly a kite. Right. Go hug a cactus. There you go. Right. I like that one. Hug a cactus. <laughs> go hug That's a right. Cactus. <laughs> go hug a cactus. <laughs> go do something else. Right. Yeah. Six. But when thou, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. Uh -huh. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret. Uh -huh. And thy father, which has seen thee in secret. Whoop, 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 Thy father, when he has seen you in secret. In secret, yep. Not in the open. Right. Because you have your reward and you do it in the open. Yeah. I don't like praying in the open, but I will. Not for glory of men, because I love my people. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that the father sees my heart. I went into my closet in my heart and... And, and, and rewards my people. I don't. I don't really care about myself too much. I care about my people. I know my uncle. I met with my uncle when I was down in Miami uh, last week, and I met with my uncle. He said, "You know, you have the heart of a shepherd because most of these people don't care about their brother. They only want money and glory. I want neither. I, I like money because it helped me eat. It helped me pay my bills. Mm -hmm. But to go out and buy a brand new Mercedes." 
Lord. I don't like that kind of money because then I'm being seen of men. Oh, he's so blessed. He has a Mercedes. And secret, y'all. Mm -hmm. Secret. What's mm -hmm. secret? You mean like secretly when you and your husband get together? That kind of secretly? An intimacy? The Most High wants us to himself. He says he's jealous. Mm -hmm. Not to share with everybody. Don't whore yourself. That's like a spiritual whoredom almost. Right, yeah, that's what it is. It's secret. Be intimate with me. Talk to me. Don't talk at me so that people can hear you. Don't talk at me. Mm -hmm. You know who I am. Go look at Job. He gave Job the business for how many chapters? Uh, <laughs> he made Job the CEO of the business. Yeah, yeah, Job thought this and that. He made he gave Job the business. Right. So Job finally said, you know, I won't even speak no more. Yeah. So now here I am, humble. I have humbled myself. Shalom. Uh-huh. Which is in secret, and thy father which seeth thee in secret shall reward thee openly. Uh -huh. Verse 7. Wait, wait, let's talk. Shall reward us openly. Secret, open. Mm -hmm. My wife and I, Sarah, ban, uh, daughter of Yasha Allah, she is a certain way. And what we discuss and do in secret is, show, is shown out in the open. You know, Brother Rossman right here says my wife is like one of the homeboys. <laughs> and she's cool. She's cool, you know. I, I can't, I can't, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I can only speak for my wife, you mm -hmm. all. You know, uh, what we do in secret is seen in the open. And blessed be the most high for that. No glory goes to us, but to the most high. Uh-huh. Verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions. Uh -huh. As the heathen do. As the who? As the heathen do. Uh-huh. Why do heathens do this? Uh -huh. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Now, a person who's always talking, do you want to hear them? A person who's a few words, when they do speak, their words are very valuable. Mm -hmm. That's why women, take it from Big Judah, your brother, be a few words. Men, I'll tell you this, a closed mouth gathers no foot. It gathers no foot. They think they shall be heard for their much speaking. Mm -hmm. You all please learn from the Ma Mashiach. Please learn from Mashiach the wisdom. He is not God. He is the voice of the Father. He says it right in, 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 in St. John, first chapter. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He spoke. That is Mashiach. Mm -hmm. The word. Can you see a word? No. So he had to come in the flesh so he can be seen, touched, and handled. Because one of the uh, disciples said, have not we touched him? Have not we eaten with him? These are questions you have to, you have to uh, think about. These disciples, the apostles, the twelve that walk with him ask. Uh-huh. Yeah. Verse 8. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of. Give me Romans tw uh, 8 and 26. Romans chapter 8 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Mm -hmm. For we know not that we should pray for as we ought. So, now, there goes your much praying right there. Hear, being heard, you don't even know what to pray for, so why you want to be heard? According to this. Read that again. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Uh, it help, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities. What is an infirmity? Matter of fact, let's get that. Dictionary.com. Uh-huh. An infirmity. Go ahead, I'll get that. We're going to see what an infirmity is. Help our infirmities. I'll give you some time. So you can go and get it if you want. But you can pause the video and go to it. And look these things up. What is an infirmity? Ask questions, y'all. Ask many questions. Don't think. Uh, uh, but if they if they silly, we're going to avoid it. Because that's what the Bible tells us to do. But I don't know what a silly question is. But I guess when it comes, the, the Spirit will give us discernment. Uh huh. Infirmitiesdictionary.com. Uh huh. A physical weakness or ailment. A physical weakness or ailment. Wow. Like, uh... Cancer? 
Yeah, that's that. Like arthritis? That's one of them. Like mental illness? Yeah. There's another one too on there. Go ahead, Doc. A moral weakness or failing? A moral weakness uh -huh. or what? Failing. Failing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it on there. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, look it up. Romans 8, verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Uh-huh. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. We, we don't know what we ought to pray for. Right. Yeah. Y'all right here, oh, I love the Lord bless me with a BMW. And then go to the BMW shop and you see how much it costs for an oil change. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Lord, I can't afford right, this right, job. Right. They charged me $350 for oh, an oil change. change yeah. yeah, that's how much they're going to charge. Get it clean. I work there. Trust me. Uh -huh. I know. Go get a tune-up. You're going to call that car. Curse is definitely a blessing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh-huh. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groaning, which cannot be uttered. Now, the Spirit. <laughs> The spirit. Love that spirit, huh? I love that spirit. <laughs> the spirit. We looked up spirit on last the last lesson. It's the illuminate the illumination of the body. The, the it's not the ghost. It's not the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Spirit. Read that. Read that again. But, but the spirit. But the spirit itself. The ghost. The spirit. The ghost. The spirit uh -huh. itself maketh intercession for us. With groaning. So it ain't none of you praying anyways because the spirit, while you flipping your mouth saying those vain words and repetition, mm -hmm. the spirit is already saying, oh, please help me. Mm -hmm. This 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 soul right here is in trouble because yeah. they doing it just for the love of men. They, they you know, the, uh, you know uh, and your conscience is going to bear witness of you not knowing what you're talking about. Right, right. It's going to bear witness of you doing it for, for glory. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's true. Which cannot be uttered. Which cannot be uttered. Give me 27. 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what it is, what is the mind of the spirit. I told you. That spirit's going to be saying, this person is in trouble. Yeah, They're yeah. out here doing this for vain glory. Yeah. It, it's going to give testimony against your very prayer. Mm -hmm. This spirit. Uh-huh. Let me read it again. And he that searcheth the hearts. The spirit. is the, It's the spirit. Knoweth. What is the mind of the spirit? He know your mind already. He knows what you're thinking. He's he's rooted all over. When you take a breath, the spirit is the breath. The soul is on the inside, but the spirit, the Bible says the eyes are the window to the soul. It didn't say the spirit was the window to the soul. The eyes. You look in a person's eyes and you can tell a lot about a person. Mm -hmm. Now, when you take a breath, you know, like that preacher, uh, that preacher who's like, ah! He tells those people, take a deep breath, Ella. You know, that, 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 that's foolishness, but the breath, your very breath heals you. The Bible just said, you know, um, the, the spirit maketh intercession, mm -hmm. and it goes through you, and it tells the, 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 uh, the, the mind, mm -hmm. we take a deep breath. That's the spirit. Now, there's a spirit, there's a Holy Spirit, and there's other spirits. Yeah, uh -huh. But the Bible says in Genesis that uh, the Most High blew into the nostrils of man, and man, beca man became a living soul. And uh, Ezekiel 37, he said, prophesy to the wind. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Y'all see that? Watch this. <sighs> right there. Let's go back to uh, Matthew. Matthew Chapter nine. I mean, chapter six. six. Verse nine. <laughs> Come all the way to lessons ahead. <laughs> Matthew chapter six and verse seven. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions. Okay, and, wait, wait. Let's go back to six. Go back to six. six. We, we were at uh, we were at nine, but let's go back to six. Matthew six verse six. But when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. There go because the spirit's going to search it out. Uh huh. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to the Father which is in secret. Uh -huh. And thy Father which seeth thee in secret shall reward thee openly. Let's go to 2 Kings 4 and 33. See what that says. 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 33. 2 Kings chapter 4 and verse 33. He went in therefore and shut the door upon them twain 
and prayed unto the Lord. So why did the why did not Elisha? This is talking about Elisha. Uh, when when uh, a late a, a lady son had died, he went into the house and shut the door behind him. Mm -hmm. Why did why did not he leave the door open? It's the same reason why Mashiach, when he went in to heal that, the, 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 when, he, when he said the child sleep and they laughed at him, mm -hmm. the same reason he put them out and shut the door behind them. Yeah. Because if someone is in your presence with, with, without faith, they can mess you up. Mm -hmm. Because according to your faith, be it as unto you. Right, yep. That's why if you do it in secret, the Most High will reward you openly. Mm -hmm. Mashiach did it in secret. And he was rewarded openly. So if that's the pattern for Elisha, and Mashiach, then what's the pattern for you? Right. We follow this book. You see, I just gave you precepts. Elisha, Mashiach, you. Yeah, right. It's the link. That's the link. Right. Uh-huh. Now let's go, let's go down to uh, 9. He's going to tell you, he's going to tell you how to pray. Watch, what, what, what's the first... I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna stop you at the first two words. I want. I, I want to. Uh huh. Matthew six and verse nine. Uh huh. After this manner. Uh huh. Therefore pray ye. Pray in this way. And this, I just gave you steps. After this manner. Uh huh. Our Father. Our who? What? Wait. Pray to me. Our Father. Pray to Jesus. Our Father. Oh, pray to my father, our father. So we just, we just, <laughs> we just uh, uh, proved with Brother Yerasha. He was talking to disciples. Mm -hmm. And when he was set on a mountain, his disciples came to him. He taught them, saying, right. what? Our father. Where is he? Which art in heaven. Which art in heaven. Mm. Where is heaven? There are many heavens, right? Right. Many heavens, right? That's true. But now he says to pray in secret. So where's the kingdom of heaven? Hmm. There's the Shemayim. There's Shabbat Shemayim. Learn Hebrew. You know, where this heaven is, you can be in heaven, in your secret place, which is in your heart. Because that's the only place that you find deliverance because you're not going to find it here in America. Trust me. If you have a million dollars, if you get paid four million dollars every season, I'm talking about football players, basketball players, have a house on a hill. Guess what? Somebody paid you. How much money do they have? Because that's your master, according to the way uh, uh, the American thought goes. Mm -hmm. If he can give you $400 million for a, for a contract, how much money does he have? Right. Yeah, that's true. Who is his master? Uh-oh. So that means that any time, if his master take him down, then guess who can get taken down? They say Alan Iverson is begging for change on the streets. Oh, man. And, I, and I, some of you have Alan Iverson shoes right now. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Oh, he's a billionaire. He's a, he's a, he's a, what they call him, a mentor. Yeah. They're getting you to chase this, this world and its desires. So when you pray, don't pray for that stuff. Maybe if you don't pray for it, maybe the most high will give it to you. Right. Yeah. Solomon, Solomon said, don't give me all that stuff. Right. Just give okay. me the wisdom, wisdom and the knowledge how to come in and out from before your people. All right. That's all. And because he said that, the most high said, I'll give you everything. everything yeah? That's Stop right. praying for stuff. Right. And you'll get it. Right. Because he knows your heart. We just read in Romans that the, the spirit searches out the heart. It searches you. Mm -hmm. It knows you're telling a lie. Well, if I had a million dollars, Judah, I sure would bless you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't got blessed yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Let's go ahead home. Go ahead home. <laughs> After this manner. Therefore pray ye, uh -huh. our Father, our Father, which art in heaven. Uh huh. Hallowed be thy name. What does hallowed mean? Let's let's look at that at dictionary.com. Hallowed. Let's look that up. Hallowed. Cause I want to see what y'all hallowed wean me. <laughs> I just, I'm just I just want to see. Hallowed. I I, I you know. 
Halloween. Halloween. Right. Regarded as holy, venerated, sacred. Ooh. Hallowed be thy name. Ooh. The hallowed saints. Ooh. So your night of the dead is hallowed. And y'all done dressed y'all kids up? All right, yeah. And you don't, you wonder why they get up and they go into all these strange different things mm -hmm. and these drug addictions, these mm -hmm. homosexual relationships and all these kinds of Because you've been dressing up to a hollow wing. Mm -hmm. You've been celebrating the Christ Mass. Look up Mass. It's a Catholic worship of a dead person. Christ Mass. But y'all, they changed it to make y'all say Christmas. Right. Yeah, all right. Look yeah. at your tree. Look at your tree. Your, your resurrection to Nimrod, mm -hmm. the God of the Sumerian God. All right, mm -hmm. y'all keep playing with this stuff. Hallowed be the Most High's name. Right. Not Ween. Not Hallowed Ween. Right. Right. These people are fool. These spit. They're not people. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against y'all know the rest. All right. So Hallowed be His name. Mm -hmm. Mashiach is saying Hallowed be Thy name. Uh huh. Verse 10, thy kingdom come, uh -huh. thy will be done uh -huh. in earth as it is in heaven. So why y'all keep putting people in the sky when they die? We just read it. Brother Rossum just read. Can I, can I go to that verse right quick? Uh, Revelation 21. 21 and 1. Revelations chapter 21 verse 1. And I saw a new heaven... And a new earth. So, what? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Read that again. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. What happened to the other? For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. So, all of y'all saints that's been heaven, guess what? They'll happen to them according to y'all doctrine and y'all belief. They're going to get passed away. You mean to tell me June Bug done kill a hundred people? <laughs> June Bug. June Bug and Hot Dog and old old them. Done killed a hundred people. <laughs> now y'all gonna dress him up and bring oh, him in. Oh, he's smiling down at uh, Yeah, you know that. That's I funny. can guarantee you June Bug ain't smiling down at nobody. June Bug done killed a hundred people. <laughs> June Bug was a terror to the neighborhood. Yeah, he was. The only person that loved him was his mother. Mm -hmm. And she got tired of him and throwed him out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now he ain't here. All right, yeah. All right. This that heaven and that earth gonna pass away. Right. And it says, "Thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come." Mm -hmm. Not we go to it. Thy right. kingdom come. Right. Kingdom come. Right. Thy will. Ooh. Read right, read that part. Watch this. Thy kingdom come. Uh -huh. Thy will Not be the done. Thy will. The Christians. Thy will. The Muslim. Thy will. The preacher. Thy will. Me. Thy will. You. Thy will be done. What is his will? I ain't gonna, Brother Ross, Brother E. Ross, what's, what's the most high's will? Let's get it. Ooh, whoa, see, I ain't even, we ain't got, I haven't given him a verse. That's right there, pure spirit, right there. Let's get it. Psalms chapter 40, verse 8. Here it is. I delight to do thy will. Ah. Oh my God. Uh huh. Yea, thy law. Oh. What? Thy law. Your law. Thy law. Your commandments. Thy law. Your traditions. Thy law. Going to church on Sunday. Thy law uh -huh. is within my heart. Oh. oh, oh. Wow. Huh. Wow, well, like that. This is unrehearsed. This this is live. Right. This is raw and live. <laughs> the uh huh. Dog, yeah. <laughs> thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. What, thy what is his kingdom? His kingdom come. His kingdom is love, peace, joy, and happiness. That's in Galatians, uh, I believe. Galatians 5. Uh-huh. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. In earth. Uh-huh. As it is in heaven. So we have to do things on earth as it is in heaven. How mm -hmm. do we find that out? I say we go to Hebrews 8. Let's see what that is. No. Hebrews 8 and 1. Hebrews 8 and 1. Let's see where his... Let's go there. Read that for me. Yeah. Hebrews 8 verse 1. Watch this. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the sum. Uh-huh. 
We have such an high priest. And we still have a high priest. Who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty. And where? Of the throne of the majesty. Uh huh. In the heaven. And where? In the heaven. And where? In the heaven. Now, did it not just say, the, uh, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven? Mm -hmm. All right, so now, watch this. Verse 2. Uh huh. A minister of the sanctuary. Uh huh. And the tr and of the true tabernacle. No, no, in the church. Of the true tabernacle. And, and, and down here on 23rd Street. Of the true tabernacle. Uh huh. Which the Lord pitched and not man. Uh oh. Mm. So we have a high priest. Now the will is that the high priest does things. Uh huh. Three. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifice. So right there. Mm hmm. That, that go to the first, second verse of the true tabernacle and of the sanctuary, the true tabernacle, which the most high pitched, or which Mashiach pitched, and not man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wherefore, it is necessary that this man have someone also to offer. He offered himself. Right. Mm. So, speaking of laws that's done away with, there's your, your sacrificial laws right there. Mm -hmm. They're not done away with, they're just done in heaven now. He offered himself. They are done in heavenly places, like behind the holies of holies, because he entered in once that no one else could do. And for all, the priest, the high priest went in once a year, and the high priest down here had to even make an atonement for himself. Right, right, yeah. First, before he made an atonement for anybody else. But what Mashiach did is he gave himself mm -hmm. first. That's why he says, I'm the first and the last. Ha. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Ock. Matthew 6 and 11. Verse 11. Give us this day. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, Matthew 10. Matthew 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give me Psalms 103 and 20. Let's go. Psalms 103 and verse 20. Bless the Lord, ye, his angels that excel in strength. And that do his commandments. Do his what? Do his commandments. Read that again. But because it seems like to me, if you do his commandments, you're considered blessed. Right. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. Bless the Lord ye, his angels, mm -hmm. that excel in strength. So is he talking about heavenly angels? So what are we known as then? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sons of God. Read, read St. Right. Luke for yourself. St. Luke, third chapter. Yeah. Read it. It's going, to, it's going to list all of Israel, all of the forefathers of Israel. Read that again. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. Bless the Lord ye, his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments. Do the angels in heaven have to keep the commandments? Uh, the, the orders of the most high. Right. But the commandments on earth, who is he talking to? Right. right. So who is he likening us to? Mm -hmm. Because Mashiach's telling us, how to pray, right. how to get strength. He's telling us in secret. He's telling us, uh, close your closet, go in your heart, examine yourself. Mm -hmm. Brother Rossum just so you, uh, if you have a gift and there's an alt, you got to go handle that alt right. and come back and then offer the gift. Right. Look at these videos, you all. Look at these, watch these videos. They will help your life. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they will help you live in this captivity. All right. We'll finish that one up. Bless the Lord ye his angels that excel in strength, mm -hmm. that do his commandments, uh -huh. hearkening unto the voice of his word. Who is his word? In the beginning was the word. Mm -hmm. The word was with y'all, the word was y'all. You can't separate my voice from me because I am one with my voice. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Shema. Shema Yasha Allah, Yahweh Allah Hayanawa, Yahweh Aha. Hear, O Israel, the Most High, our God, is one God. He cannot be three. He's one. Right, right, right. He's one. You can't separate his voice from him. I came not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Right. For his voice, we just read in uh, Deuteronomy 18. 18. Right, Deuteronomy 18. Did he say, did he say Mashiach's voice or my voice? Yep, my you voice. see that? Yep. Look at his video. Look at the video before this one. We're gonna, you're going to hear it says my word, not Mashiach's word. Right. My word. I called him the word. Right. So it's my word. So if you say Mashiach, you're saying, technically you're saying Yahweh. Right, right. 
Because you cannot separate me from my voice. If I call my son, my son's going to say, yes, Abba. But if Brother Yerosalem call my son, he's going to know that's a different voice. Mm -hmm. My sheep know my voice. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Let's go, let, let's go back to uh, Matthew 6. Yeah. And verse what? We're at Matthew 6 verse 11. and verse uh, 10. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth uh -huh. as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Tomorrow. Give us this day. Yesterday. Give us this day uh -huh. our daily bread. So what's the biggest what is the biggest problem every marriage has? Finances. Mm. Finances tear apart yes. more marriages mm. because everybody's so busy worrying about tomorrow. Yeah. You can have a thousand dollars in your pocket today, eating a fried chicken sandwich with a turkey leg in his hand. Yeah. And most people are going to say, well, what about tomorrow? Right, yeah. yeah. Give us this day. This day. What's due for us this day? Mm -hmm. My grandma, <laughs> my grandma, Ophelia Swan, they call her Danny. She sings this song. It goes, uh, it's like an old song. They used to sing in the cotton fields. Wait not for tomorrow, son. Oh, wait not for tomorrow, son. For tomorrow, sun ray rise and shine upon your grave. Wait not for tomorrow, son. Those people knew what they were singing about. They knew a lot of people worried about tomorrow and went to bed and had a heart attack or a stroke and died in their sleep. Uh -huh. They never made it to tomorrow. And guess what about yesterday? I, I, I would give my life for somebody who can go back into yesterday and change anything. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not promised. So this day, Right now is the time to make the acceptable uh, 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 forgiveness to your brother. Right. To start keeping the commandments. Right now. Don't say I'll do it tomorrow after I do this or that. Mm -hmm. That's right. Do it right now. That's right. You can't do it yesterday. You cannot do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You have to do it right now. Right. Uh huh. Give us this day our daily bread. Mm -hmm. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Uh, an eye for an eye. What we just said. Brother Ross, he just said it. Mm -hmm. If you don't forgive your brother, guess what? Yeah. You won't be forgiven. That's true. And he's talking about your brother. Right. Because I can show you a matter of fact. <clears throat> let's go to Jeremiah. Uh, 30. I'm going to say 30. 31. Hmm. Jeremiah That's no, not 30, I'm sorry Salakia, y'all mm -hmm. Matter of fact, it's not We know what it is, it's in uh, It says uh, You cannot Charge your brother's usury I think that's in Deuteronomy Yeah, that's in the law It's in the law Yeah, you can't charge the You can't charge your brother's usury But anybody else, you can't Yeah, that's in Deuteronomy 23 uh, it was around there somewhere, y'all. Yeah, it was in there. 23 and 19. There it is right there. Uh huh. Deuteronomy 23, verse 19. Well, let's start at 17, because this, this is interesting. Right. Deuteronomy 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. So, therefore, you can't dance for money. Right. You can't sell your body for money. You know what a whore is. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Nor a sodomite of the sons of uh -oh. Israel. We can't be gay. <laughs> but the Lord said he loves everybody. No. Uh -huh. The Lord said, the Most High Yah said, now the Lord probably can tell you whatever you want, mm -hmm. but the Most High Yah right. said, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Mm -hmm. Of the sons of Israel. So now it's telling you, there shall be no whore of the daughters and no sodomites of the son. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's in the old covenant though. All right, well, yeah, let's go. Verse 18, thou shalt not bring the hire of a whore or the price of a dog into the house of the Lord thy God. So all your stripper money, y'all might can bring it to them Christian churches. Right, right. You can't bring it to the, uh, the Hebrews. No. You can't do that because no. we know, we know better. Right. Well, all that drug money, bring it to me. Don't bring it to me. No, 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 keep it. Because the Bible said don't do that, uh-huh. Right. 
e for even both these are abominations. They what? Both of these are abomination uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. Okay, so now let's see how the, let's see how the Mosai flip right from that to this. Watch this. Verse 19. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother. To thy who? To thy brother. To thy who? To thy brother. Who, who are your brothers? Uh-huh. Israel. Right, uh -huh. Israel, yeah. Usury of money. Uh, oh, money. Usury of victuals. Food. Usury of anything that is lent upon usury. You cannot charge interest. Right. You can't say, oh, if I'm going to give you $100, you got to give me 150 back. Right, right. You just sinned, according to this book, because yeah. the most I said not to. Right. You just sinned. That's like saying, look, I'm leaving you and your brother and sister's home, and then the, the, the oldest brother or sister say, all right, dad left me with y'all, so whatever I do for y'all, y'all going to have to do twice back for me. Mm -hmm. You You're do done. Right. You just sin. Yeah, uh huh. Don't do that. Unto a stranger. Unto a who? A stranger. Uh huh. Watch this now. This is the Most High talking. Thou mayest lend upon usury. That's why the Jewish people do us the way they do us. Yep, that's right. Right there. Right. They're, they 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 are using the same word. Right. That was given to us against us. Right. Putting taxes on everything and every yeah. Don't pay your land. What happened? Right. Yep. Yeah. Like they supposed to every year we have bad credit. They supposed to they supposed to wipe the slate clean, but they don't follow that one. Nah, no, that, that, no, that no. one was done away with. Yeah, yeah, not that one. Seven years bad credit supposed to be wiped clean. Yeah. You know why they ain't doing it? Cause y'all Negroes have y'all credit cleaned every year. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they ain't doing it. Yeah. They ain't following that law. But to a stranger, what? Unto a stranger, uh -huh. thou mayest lend upon usury. Uh huh. But unto thy brethren, uh -huh. thou shalt not lend upon usury, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God may bless may thee. what? May bless thee. Oh. In all that thy settest thy hand to, in the land whither thou goest to possess it. Oh. So that's how you get blessed. Yeah. Go in the secret closet. Right, right. Praying to the Most High, not in the open. Right. Get, get, we just talked about usury. Uh, alms in the in the first beginning of this. Right. Don't give alms to be seen. These are how you get blessed. The Christian church does the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. I've known preachers to say, if I give you this, you have to give me back this. Preachers, who you give tithes to, mm -hmm. we ain't supposed to even be doing that. Right. Right. That's if that nigga ain't a Levite, he ain't supposed to get jacked. <laughs> right. <laughs> all the whole, all the laws done away with. Oh, right? all done away with. But that time, that bring time, that time. I need that money. I need that money. That God is mammon. Right, right. Who can serve mammon and the Most High? It's crazy. Uh, let's go out. It's crazy. I don't want to take up too much time. Matthew six, verse thirteen. Uh huh. And lead us not into temptation, uh huh. But deliver us from evil. Those evil thoughts, uh huh. For thine is the kingdom. For thine, not ours, not anybody else. For thine. And the power. And the power. And the glory. And the glory. Forever. For how long? Forever. For how long? Forever. Uh-huh. Amen. A month. Now, anything besides that, you are hypocrite. As this book say, you are a hypocrite. You are a, uh, what does it say up here? Uh, you, you haven't hollowed the name. Mm-hmm. Your debts are not forgiven because you won't forgive other people's debt. As a matter of fact, you didn't even forgive their debt, but you put a usury on it. Right. Right. To your brother, you done. You like you like what they call Thanksgiving. I call it thanks taking. Mm -hmm. You like the thanks taking turkey, you done. Mm -hmm. Stick a fork in you. Yeah. So, give me um the glory in the kingdom. Give me second Peter's two and nine. Mm -hmm. Second Peter's chapter two, verse nine. The Lord knoweth how to deal. How to, so like, let me read it again. Go ahead, go ahead. The I, Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. And lead us not into temptation. And to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. And, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom mm -hmm. and the power and the glory. So in other words, that he just read that. Seems like to me, everybody don't have a chance to be saved. Watch right. this, read that again. Mm -hmm. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. Yahweh Ba Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai knoweth how to deliver you out of temptations. He knoweth how to. Right. And to do what? And to reserve. To what? Reserve. What does reserve mean? 
Mm. To reserve mm. the unjust uh -huh. unto the day of the judgment to be punished. So to reserve you, to put you in a place. Right, right. To be punished. Right. You that's, being saved to be crazy, punished. Yeah. So when you say, I went to church and got saved. Right, yeah. <laughs> no, Guess what? You might have got saved. You're right. You getting saved, yeah, all right. You, no, that's a good point. You might have got saved. You got saved, all right. You got saved for that punishment. You got saved for that punishment. That's crazy, man. That's a good one right there. So, Hello, yeah. yeah that's, that's a good one right there. I Hello, like that. Hello, yeah. Yeah, you got saved, all right. You saved, all right. <laughs> yeah, you saved. Keep on paying your tithes and, and, and doing uh, uh, contrary to the most high right. in, his, in his word. Keep on. Right, right. Keep playing. Right. Like Smokey told Craig, you always playing. <laughs> this man ain't playing. <laughs> no, that's right. Y'all people in the church ain't never got two things that match. Right. You know, uh, uh, obey me, child. The law done away with. Right. Uh, uh, wow, it's just so many. Yeah, it's a bunch. Yep. <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> Come on, right, let's go. Right. 14. Uh, 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. To forgive trespasses, uh huh. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Because you're not your brother's keeper anymore. Mm -hmm. 16. Moreover, when ye fast. Uh oh. Be not as the hypocrites, uh -huh. as of of a sad, sad countenance. Oh, I'm so hungry. Right, yeah. For they disfigure their faces, Ooh. that they may appear unto men to fast. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so holy because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. No, nigga, you, you hungry because you ain't ate. Right. Because in, in, in Matthew, in Matthew 3 and 4, I mean Matthew 4, I'm sorry, Salakia. Matthew 4 chapter said the Mashiach was led up of, of the spirit into the will in, of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the enemy. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, see he went into his closet. Where did he go? Into the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And when he fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward on hunger. It then the tempter came. Right, right, right. Because he was in his secret place. Man, what are he doing in this secret place? I gotta go see if this the same one that had the hedge around him. Joe, Joe wasn't him. Joe, I couldn't get Joe. Let us see. Let's see about him. Yeah. He's in a secret place by himself. Nah, I got. I got to try this brother. Right, right. That's the uh huh. Thing. If you forgive not your, if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Uh huh. Sixteen. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites uh -huh. of a sad countenance, uh -huh. for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Unto who? Unto men to fast. Oh, they got their reward. Uh huh. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Dot, dot, dot. There you go. Mm -hmm. But thou. But who? But thou. Uh huh. When thou fastest, uh huh. Anoint thine head and wash thy face. Anoint thine head and wash thy face. Uh huh. Give me Daniel thir Daniel ten and three. See, I like I like Daniel because Daniel was the truth. Daniel told some prophecies most people can't get, but I'm working on that even myself, y'all. Yeah. I'm working on that right now. So stay tuned. Daniel ten and verse three. Uh huh. I ate no pleasant bread. I ate no pleasant bread. Neither came flesh uh -huh. nor wine in uh -huh. my mouth. So he ate no pleasant bread. There are different kinds of fasts that tells me. What fast is the most high putting you on? Some of y'all need to fast. You stay at the buffet too much. Mm -hmm. You need to fast. Always that give me buffet. <laughs> you know? Right, right. Give me this, give me that. Give yeah, me. Yeah, I want, yeah. I want, I want. Y'all go to give me buffet and I want restaurant. I want to give me fast. If you watch TV all day long, fast from that. Right. If 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 you want to get into a biblical fast, look at Daniel. Look at the, the Mashiach. They didn't say Mashiach ate nothing, but it didn't say he did. He didn't say he didn't. He said he fasted. And then after he was hungry. So if he had been eating bread, he wouldn't have been hungry. So now you can put two and two together. Use common sense. Right. My wife Sarah says uh, sense isn't so common nowadays. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. I ate no pleasant bread, uh -huh. neither came flesh nor wine in my mouth. Uh -huh. Neither did I anoint myself at all Ooh. till three whole weeks were fulfilled. Till three whole weeks were fulfilled. He even fasted from anointing himself. Mm -hmm. 
wow, he must have been in a lowly state. Yeah. But he didn't do it for, for the pleasure of men, the right. glory of men. Right, right. Let's go back to uh, Matthew. Uh, he did it for his father. Everything you do must be for the father, and he will reward you openly. Mm -hmm. I do things that's real strange, and the father tells me, real strange. Trust me. You can ask Brother Ross. <laughs> I do some strange stuff because the Father tells me to do it. I, I, that's all I, I'm dumb enough just to do that. Mm -hmm. I've cleared myself. I'm like, man, that don't sound right. I, I don't know about that. Are you questioning me? All right, Father, I'll do it. I'll just take the brunt in of it. From, and, it, you know, if it was any way of me, I'll apologize. But what you're telling me to do, uh, no. <laughs> let's go ahead on up. We at the, um, uh, 17. Yes, yeah, 17. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face. Uh huh. That thou appear not unto men to fast. Not unto who? Unto men uh -huh. to fast. So now we're, we're dealing with the what people are going to think people. Right. You know, some people you talk to, man, what people going to say? What people going to think if I do this? What people going to say if I wear that? What people, what people, what people? So you're probably a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. If you always have what people are going to say and what people are going to think on your heart. You probably need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah. Uh huh. But unto thy father, which is in secret, uh -huh. and thy father which seeth thee in secret, shall reward thee openly. There we go again, secret and openly. Uh huh. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth. Oh man, treasures on earth. What? What about my bank account? I mean, like. Yeah. What about my homes? Right. My cars. Right. Are these my treasures? I can tell you all what. Someone who's fully into the Most High and keeping His commandments and doing His, keeping His, uh, His statutes and commandments, these things will hardly mean anything to them. Right. But to you, who work for these things, mm -hmm. you get up faithfully so you can have a Mercedes XL or whatever they right. call, right. Uh, so you can have a Range Rover. For you people, this is your God. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is your God, and you are going to fall because, like I said before, how many of you have ever seen a hearse with a U-Haul pulling behind it so you can take all that stuff with you? Yeah, that's because right. you're gone from this realm. Yep. This realm, you will be no more the way you were. The big dope boy, look at him. He going to get his brain scattered across the street yep. or locked away. Even locked up. Let's say he lived. Let's. He got a thousand years in prison because they're going to give you Hebrews the most. They're going. They're going to give you the most the book can, can handle. Mm -hmm. Even the even the book they throw at you say, God, dog, that was a little harsh, wasn't it, Judge? Yeah, yeah. 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 You're going to get the most. Mm -hmm. Even them. What can they take to federal prison with them? Nothing. Uh huh. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth uh -huh. where moth and rust doth corrupt. The, well, if, if moth can eat it up, clothes, if rust can corrupt it, cars, houses, whatever, don't lay it up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And where thieves break thorough and steal. God, dog, he talked about the car, the house, the clothes. Right. The jewelry. The jewelry? Uh -huh. uh. These are treasures upon earth. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. 20. This is what you should lay up. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. How can I do that? Let's go to 19 and 21. Matthew 19 and 21. Let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what that says. Matthew 19 and verse 21. Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Ooh. And do what after and that? And come and follow me. It's going to be trouble, trouble, dollar bill. Yeah, that's right, huh? That's hard for a lot of people. Oh, what? Because that's what they get up for. That's what they go to work for. And in another chapter, I can't remember what chapter it was, but he was talking to the people. And after he had told them something, a lot of the multitude left. They and left. They, oh, they, they fired they, right off. <laughs> they, matter of fact, right. matter of fact, to 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 you to you who say the law is done away. Let's let's go back to nineteen and sixteen. Watch this. And one Matthew nineteen verse sixteen. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, 
what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So now, this is Mashiach's talking. I mean, uh, this is a, 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 a man talking. Watch what Mashiach replied to him. And he said unto him, Mashiach said unto him, why callest thou me good? So now, anybody who says I'm a good person, you, 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 you shut up. Even Mashiach said, why callest thou me good? Right. Watch what Mashiach said. There is none good but one. So if you call yourself good, you contra contradict this Bible. Right. You're not a good person. There's one good. Because even I've heard uh, in, in, in uh, Christian, well, people, I ain't going to say Christian. I heard it there too. They said, well, when we get to heaven, I want my daddy to sit next to me. You just parted out the kingdom. Yeah. I want my family, oh, I want to see my daddy in heaven. I want to see this person in heaven. Yeah. You just parted out the kingdom. So that makes you not good because all Israel is your brother. Mm -hmm. There's one father. There's that. Holla. Woo. Let's go. Let, 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 let's, let's see. There's none good. Uh huh. But one that is God. Yahweh. Mm -hmm. But if thou wilt enter into life, uh huh. Keep the command. They're done away with. Keep the command. So by y'all very admission, you cannot enter into life. Right. By your very admission, the law is done away with, the commandments are done away with, right. you cannot enter into the kingdom. All right. Now this is what this is this is what uh, <laughs> brother Brother Rossley was talking about. Go to 21. 21. Jesus said unto him, If that would be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. 22. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowfully, for he had great possessions. He went away sorrowfully. I can't leave my stuff for you. Right. Yeah. What if Peter had said the same thing? Peter had a boat. Yeah, that's right. And it was it wasn't easy. A good, it wasn't an easy thing to have a boat like that back right. then. No, that's true. So Peter had to leave yeah, something. Leave her, yep. The Bible says straightway they dropped the sons of Zebedee. Yep. Straightway they dropped, dropped their nets and yeah, came and followed came him. And follow. That's why he said, according to your faith, be it as unto you. Right. If you can have the faith enough to say, I'm going to leave this to follow the commandments. I'm going to leave Christianity to follow the commandments. Right. I'm going to leave Muslim right. or Islam to follow the commandments. Great is thy faith. Right. I feel like preaching in here. Right. Right. Great is thy faith. Hallelujah. Right. Bless be the most high. Bashem HaMashiach Yahawashah. Let's go back to Matthew 6 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, uh -huh. where neither moth nor rust does corrupt, uh -huh. and where thieves do not break thorough nor steal. Thieves can't get it. Uh -huh. For where your treasure is, where, uh -huh. there will your heart be also. For where your what is? Where your treasure is. So if your word is this, 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 this. If, you, if your heart, if your treasure is the word, mm -hmm. Oh, let's go to the first song. I said I'm gonna cut this room short, but I can't. I can't help it, y'all. You call me butter because I'm on a roll. Yeah, yeah, you. Watch this. Where your treasure is. Give me first songs, the second chapter. And what? First songs, the, the second. Um, first songs, the second verse. I'm sorry. Okay. First, or uh, Psalms chapter one, verse two. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, uh -huh. and in his law doth he meditate day and night. In his what? In his law doth he meditate day and night. So we can't meditate, meditate because according to them, the law is done away with. Right, yeah. Okay, so in his law do we meditate day and night. Give me three. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. A tree planted by rivers of water, that, that's a strong tree. Right. It's always water. Yeah. And it's in, in and it's in the soil. Yeah. And it's in the earth. Yeah. It has it has a double kill on it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. His leaf also shall not wither. Where they do that at? <laughs> and whatsoever he do shall prosper. What? What's it? What? And whatsoever he doeth. Open the ant farm. Whatsoever he doeth. Wear a collard green patch. Whatsoever he doeth. Get build combat boots. Whatsoever he doeth. Kick the tree. Whatsoever he doeth. What? Shall prosper. Shall what? Shall prosper. That's prosperity. Right. That's the prosperity gospel right there. That's the prosperity. Keeping the law. Keeping the law. I That's just the told rule. you which ones were done away with. Right. But well, they ain't actually done away with. They just done in a different place. 
<laughs> but that's on you. Believe what you're gonna believe to the traditions of men or believe this word. Uh-huh. 22. Matthew 6, verse 22. The light of the body is the eye. Read it again. The light of the body is the eye. Uh-huh. If therefore thine eye be single, mm -hmm. thy whole body shall be full of light. If your eye be single, your whole body. Speaking of Yasha Allah. If we were of one single mind and one body as we're supposed to be, as is predicted we're going to be, but prophesied as we're going to be. Uh, for instance, let's go way back to Babel. They were at one mind on one accord. What happened? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Most High came down and stopped it because he said they will be able to do whatever they put their mind to. Right. Their eye, the, their, the light of their body was single. Now here we are, Yasha Allah, sitting over here arguing over petty crap. No, it go on in the church. Seeing that dress he had on, uh, if, if he can get a fifteen hundred dollar suit, he can do this. Backbiting, talking about uh, profit lying, mm -hmm. uh, uh, all this foolishness. But the light, the 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 light of the body is the eye. And one of them says the eye is a window to the soul. But I don't know what that one is right now. But yeah. read that again. Verse twenty two. If the light or the light of the body is the eye, mm -hmm. if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Uh-huh. Verse 23. But if thy what? But uh -huh. if thine eye be evil, uh -oh. thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Uh-huh. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? The whole body is dark. Uh-huh. 24. No man can serve two masters. Oh boy. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. One foot in, one foot out. Some people got one foot in the church. They hook a Messiah and oh, 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 right, do all that stuff. And then guess what? The night before that, guess where they was at? At the club, getting yeah, it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. At the club, uh, yeah, hit checking it up. Yeah. With all the other sinners, what who they call sinners? Yeah, well, that's you know, true. Whoever ain't keeping the law is pretty much a sinner in our book. Yeah, in this book. Yeah. But to them, no. to them, uh, it's you know, I'm good. I go to church. Well, right. All right, let's see how that works for you on the day of judgment. Right. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy. You can't serve two masters. You can't do it. You cannot serve God and Mammon. Mm -hmm. so uh oh, we... Mammon. Let's look up Mammon. Mammon, what's mammon? Uh, I need that uh, cut, uh, sound of his Bible dictionary. Can you go grab that in there, John? Mammon. Let's see what that. Let's see what. Let's see what that says. Uh, uh the dictionary says about that. Uh oh. Woo! Somebody finna be in trouble. Thank you, Octi. Oh, somebody about to be in trouble. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. See if it's in there. Uh, but according to this, uh. Mammon, yeah. Mammon out of the compact, the Zondervan Bible Compact Dictionary. Mammon. The Aramaic word for riches. Oh. You mean like T.D. Jakes? Yeah. T.D. No, snakes, that's true. yeah, that's true. T.D. snakes, yep, like Clef Low Hollow, yep. P.D. Pop Off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, read that again. Mammon, the Aramaic word for riches. That's blessings in the Christian church. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, it's crazy to put money on the altar or on the steps, what they call their yeah. altar, right. and run through it. Right. That's mammon. What what that say right there? Mammon. A Wikipedia. Encyclopedia. In the New Testament of the Bible is material wealth or greed, most often personified as a deity. Ooh. And sometimes included in the seven princes of hell. Ooh. Somebody's Ooh. in trouble, huh? It's gonna be trouble. No, don't make me raise the most I said, don't make me raise up, Blue. <laughs> like you said. <laughs> Don't make me raise up. 
He gonna raise up on a lot of y'all. Man, that's, that's what y'all say blessing is. That's crazy. Oh, I got money. Woo! Yeah. I've heard people uh, yell out in church, give me some money. Yeah. You say, give me some mammon. Yeah. Y'all in trouble. Yeah, that's a lot of people in trouble. A lot of people in lot trouble. Lot people. Come on, let's go out. We're out of time. 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body. What shall ye put on? Is not life more than meat? Is, is not life more than meat? Gotta eat. That's, they got that slogan on uh, one, of, one of those gotta eat. Uh, is it checkers? Yeah, I, I think it's checkers. You gotta eat. Uh, of course you have to eat. You're right, a human. Right. Some of y'all eat too Ooh, eat too much. Mm -hmm. Go sit at the Golden Corral and sit there huffing that food. Y'all yeah. don't even chew it. Do you even taste it? Right, right. Man, yeah. see people sitting in the Golden Corral for three hours. Man, you letting the food die. That's gluttony. Yeah, that's what that is. It's gluttony. I Overeating. Uh-huh. Is not life more than meat uh -huh. and the body than raiment? Ooh, I got a product. I got a right. Gucci. I got on some red bottoms. Right, right. Uh-huh. Behold, the fowl of the air. Uh-huh. For they sow not. Neither do they reap. They don't have a Range Rover. They don't have they they don't have all that stuff we have. Uh -huh. right. Nor gather into barns. Uh huh. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. They they eat every day. They eat every day. Right. Uh huh. Are ye not much better than they? So if you have faith in the Most High, He will feed you. Uh huh. Right. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit? Unto his stature. In other words, Mosai said, What you gonna do? Right. Like Job. He gave Job the business. Yep. Man, he matter of fact, he made Job the CEO of the business yep. that he gave to him. Yep. Uh-huh. And what and why take ye thought for raiment? Uh -huh. Consider the lilies of the field, uh -huh. how they grow. Uh-huh. They toil not, neither do they spin. Uh-huh. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory. Was not arrayed like one of these. Not even like one of them. Solomon, greatest king. Uh huh. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, uh -huh. which today is, uh huh, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, uh huh, shall He not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? So now to to to, to worry about clothes and all that stuff, your faith is little. So don't come up here and say you're blessed and highly favored when you're worried about tomorrow because you have no faith. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Verse 31, therefore take no thought saying, what shall we eat? Get out of tomorrow. Or what shall we drink? Did, did, did he not say, give us this day our daily bread? Right. Uh-huh. Or with all, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Uh-huh. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Who? The Gentiles seek. After all these things do, does the world seek. So you're seeking after things of the world. Uh huh. And this show you right here that this ain't this verse has nothing to do with anybody outside of Israel. That's there you go. It's clear not not anybody outside of the Israelites. He wasn't talking to right, right before. Uh huh. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Uh huh. For your heavenly Father there knoweth that ye have need of all these things. You all have kids and know they have need of all things. So how's the Father going to forsake us? Uh huh. Thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. See, a lot of people love to use this 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 script this right. this passage right here. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Then I have a brand new Cadillac. No, he's right. talking about clothes and food. Right, right. He ain't talking about your Cadillac True. that you swindled and swapped and told the people lies on your uh, tax return mm -hmm. that uh, that that <laughs> that you went and got. Yeah. Go ahead, read that. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. The kingdom of Yah. And his righteousness. And his righteousness. What is his righteousness? Mashiach is his righteousness. That's what his righteousness is. You can go all through the Torah and find it. His righteousness, his people, his Mashiach, his righteousness, his law. His, his law is an everlasting. Matter of fact, give me some, uh, Psalms uh, 119 and 140, 142. Watch this. Psalms 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, mm -hmm. and thy law is the truth. Wow. Mm. There you go. There you go. 
But seek ye first the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness. That's his truth. Mm -hmm. And then what will happen? And all these things shall be added unto you. Uh huh. 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, mm -hmm. for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Suffic sufficient unto the day is evil thereof. So here we go. Give me a please the these. 12. The closing. The closing. 13 up. And with that, I have this to say. Watch this, you all. Take no thought, for tomorrow will take care of the things of itself. You might not even make it till tomorrow. You might go to sleep and not wake up, yeah. and you're worried about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of a lot of graves out there on, on where I'm from, called 19th Street and 31st Avenue, and over there off 6th Trunk and uh, 27th Avenue. A lot of those people that out there, they, they thought they were going to be doing something tomorrow, and they never made it till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's called a graveyard. Yeah. Uh-huh. Watch this. This, this is this is the this is this is all we need to do right here. Right. Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God. Fear who? Fear God. Fear man. Fear God. Fear the Illuminati. Fear God. Fear Edomites. Fear God. Fear Canaanites. Fear God. Uh -huh. And keep his commandments. And keep his what? Keep his commandments. They're done away with. Keep his commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. Wow. Shalom. Shalom.